Hi guys and welcome once again to another Rixton Education video. Today I'm going to talk about retrieving data from several services concurrently and bringing that data into, into a single canonical object using Mule. You may already know that since version 3.5 Mule offers the extremely simple to use scattergather router. You may also be aware that it does not offer leniency for cases where calls to some services fail and will discard any good results and throw a messaging exception like the one you can see here. The good news is that we have the option to override the default aggregation strategy, which is responsible for bringing the results from each path in the scattergather router into the same message payload. What you're looking at now is a class which implements the aggregation strategy interface, allowing us to implement the aggregation method and thereby passing it as an argument to the scattergather router in the Mule XML flow. The aggregation context argument is a very expressive object that allows us to determine which paths were successful, which ones weren't, and provides us with the exceptions for each failed path. In a nutshell, this method grabs the mule events for the successful paths and the failed paths, and exceptions for failed paths are simply logged, while any successful results received are sent along to the next message processor in the flow. This is the XML for the mule flow that simulates the retrieval of bookings from Expedia, Orbits and Booking.com. Note that the timeout on the scattergather router is set to one second. The services are defined in these mule flows which simply return the static lists of results. Nothing fancy but adequate for our test. Okay, so let's test this. Firstly, I will run the test with the default aggregation strategy and get the results from all three sources. I'll use Postman to fire off the request. And as you can see, we have the results back from all three sources, Booking.com, Expedia and Orbits. Now I will set the response delay in the Expedia flow to 10 seconds and make the same request. And as you can see, the scattergather router has thrown an exception and the good results have been lost. Okay, now if we change the aggregation strategy of the scattergather router from default to the Java class I showed you a moment ago and make the same request and this time you can see we have the successful results for Booking.com and Orbits despite the fact that the call to Expedia failed. And looking at the console we can see our lenient aggregation strategy has logged the exception thrown by Expedia. Well, I hope that this has been useful. Be sure to check out the original blog post for more information. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to comment here or on the blog. Stay updated with what's going on with Rixton and in the integration world. Follow us on Twitter or give us a like on Facebook. Thanks for watching and until next time, goodbye.